Y'all, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and I'm excited today to present a clip from another interview I did. I had a special guest by the name of Aaron Wolf. Now, this guy is an artist, vocalist in particular, plays some instruments, and what's so interesting about him is not only is he an artist, but he started a digital music conference called the Musician Mastery Summit, bringing together a lot of thought leaders in music, including myself. And the coolest part about it is it was actually free, so you could tune in to watch the conference live on the internet and see interviews from a lot of really dope people. But that's besides the point. What's really great about this clip right here is Aaron talks about building a system. You could hear the mindset that it really takes to build a system for yourself as an artist by hearing the steps that he went through and how he's developing one for himself. Not saying any more to the end, go ahead and check this out. You mentioned the fact that you got on Spotify and you got on a lot of uh, playlists. What did you do to get on those playlists? Man, so that was one thing that I learned from the conference, actually. Um, Cody Patrick uh, was talking about Spotify playlist pitching. And as someone from background that I have with sales, like pitching things is just selling it, basically. Yep. So I was like, man, how are they doing these pitches and stuff? And I just kind of came up with a plan to find all the different Spotify playlists. So I guess there's two ways to go about it. You can either invest a bunch of money into like paying for exposure and with where I was at, I didn't want to do that. So the other thing that I learned when talking to Cody, watching the sessions for the, from the summit was that you can actually just get on a playlist. If you get on a playlist, that might have X amount of people listening to it per day. So it's like way easier to get on one of those than to expose yourself to a bunch of individuals. And so I just came up with a strategy to reach out. Um, I wrote down a big list of people again, big, big old list of people that I knew had Spotify playlists just from going online and creeping. And, um, I just reached out to them. The, the main thing that made a difference though is again, I didn't reach out with them like, hey, put my song on your list. I said, hey, I love your playlist because I genuinely did. I found ones that I liked. So I complimented what they're doing. I told them why I'm reaching out to them is because they're awesome. And then I said, in exchange for you putting this on your playlist, I think it would fit well. Um, I would, I'll share your playlist with my following. And so when there's that win-win, again, just like in sales or in any type of healthy transaction or relationship, both parties are benefiting, then it, it makes it, you know, there's more incentive for them. So I just literally just a numbers game and it might take one out of every 12 emails that I send. Yep. But if I, but if I know that after doing 60 calls, if I have five people that said, you know, put my song on there, then I know like, okay, if I want 15 things or 15 playlist placements and it took me 60 emails to get five, then what do I got to do? I just got to do three times that. Right. So for me, it's all, I'm trying to just develop systems that I can, that I can work on. And then eventually like, like you'll notice now, I don't even know. I think my Spotify playlists are too high right now, but it's because I've taken energy away from that to work on other stuff. But ideally down the road, I'd like to just bring on someone and be like, Hey dude, here's my system to get Spotify playlists going on. Mm. And so for me, it's like, you have like the one guy, here's like the perfect thing that I, I, I've thought about this quite a bit. And I think it might be from like Think and Grow Rich or something, but you have the two schools of thought. Like back in the day, there are these two ship captains. Okay. And one of them teaches everybody on the ship to learn just one job and pays them well enough to where they're satisfied, but they only know that one job. And then the other dude, the other ship captain teaches every single person on the ship how to run every single part of the ship. And then he goes and gets another ship. And so now he has two ships under him. So going back to not being scarce with things, I would like to um, build these systems where I just reach out. And I think with the Spotify thing, it was, it works because I'm exchange. I'm in exchange. I'm saying, Hey, I'll share you. I'll share your playlist with my following. Now, coolest part about that is when my following keeps growing, then my ratio of people saying yes is going to be more because if someone's like, Hey, put me on your playlist, I'll share it with my hundred thousand people or whatever, then you know, you don't have to make as many calls, but I'd like to kind of develop it as a system. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's it. He goes deeper into that, believe it or not. I really love the mindset he took and, and how he's building out his system so he could have other people do it at some point and continue to build himself as a career and brand. And that's exactly how other artists should be thinking about it. That's why I shared it. I'm super excited to show you the full interview pretty soon. 
Keep a lookout from that. If you're watching this video after I drop the full interview, then you can look in the description below and a link will be there to the full thing. We cover some great topics about being self-funded and having to work other odd jobs, but how he integrated that back into his music. There's so many great gems in that interview, but it's all just his journey. So once again, stay tuned for that. And if you like this video, go ahead hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe.